Hello ladies and gents, welcome on back to Spaceborn 2. Well, in this episode we're going to be taking on one of the last missions for the story campaign called the Feast of Stars. And we get to be a little dirty, a little nasty, we get all kinds of combat in it. So, kick back, relax, and you want to stick around to the end because I do post some questions and I tell you what the next video I'm going to make is, so you want to stick around for that. Let's go. Alright folks, before we take on this main mission thing you want to keep in mind go in get your ammo filled up get your guns and your armor all jacked up ready to go because that's what this is going to be we're going to get some serious ground combat landing gear retracted pardon me sir all right so warp drive online now we're supposed to go to the city of Grisoma. The Feast of Stars. Need to talk to a dude down there. See what he's got to say. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. That's what the cities look like. They're just giant grids. Really, really basic services. You just gotta look and find the landing pad. But if you want to clear the screen up, you can always hit your backspace key. But then all the controls and everything else disappears. And I don't know. It comes to a point I just kind of ignore it, but yeah, I'm like getting pushed all over the place. There's actual wind fix physics in this. Landing gear deployed. Sheesh. All right, there he is. Bunnies. Hello, my friend. I know that you are the one who attacked one of our stations. Look, my friend, I just know it's you, and that's all that matters. Yeah, well, what you talking about, son? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm in charge of transportation at the company. Actually, my rank used to be much higher. But after a few failed smuggling operations, my influence has significantly decreased. Naturally, this situation bothers me. Maybe you and I could cooperate. If things keep going this way, I don't think I can stay in the company anymore. And because of sensitive information, this company prefers to eliminate rather than fire. So, I'll That's give rough. you the support you need to take down the company completely. Sure, you managed to draw their attention by attacking a company station, but that just made them beef up their security. So, if you want to pull off an effective and successful attack, I'm your only hope, my friend. Malara's only gave you info about one of the company's weaker stations, but one of the shipments mentioned in the intel is actually related to a feast I'll be attending. Now, Malaris is the guy that we went and saw and uh, paid for information to get the station that we attacked. So it's interesting that this guy knows him. It might come back and bite us in the butt, but it doesn't in this mission. But who knows, going down the road. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that I want to help you. This feast is like a Champions League. The biggest merchants, politicians, and nearly the entire mercenary army will be there. Wow, so I would like to be saying on Earth that all the billionaires and up and you know, all the big corporate heads of all these big companies are all going to be someplace. And you could take them out. That would wreak havoc in our world. Not, not to mention on a galactic scale. You can't attack there directly. That's where I come in to help. I'm in charge of the shipments of luxury foods and drinks for the feast. One of my last smuggling operation, I was tasked with transporting an illegal plant called Vasuki, grown in a cave. Vasukis are incredibly toxic, 
capable of causing death shortly after ingestion with no known antidote. Cultivating, harvesting, and transporting the vasuki is a serious crime. One of the most characteristic of this plant is that color and scent of it become indistinguishable once they are ground into powder. I'm letting you figure out what will happen if you add to a drink, my friend. Well, we can slaughter them all. I'm marking the location of the cave on your map. Before you go there, make sure you load up your ammunition, just in case. He's not kidding. After you get the Vasuki, bring it to me ASAP. We should be act quickly. The date of the Feast of the Stars is coming. Yeah. Good luck, my friend. Okay, so we gotta go to Planet 177. Uh, once we complete the mission, I think we come back here and give it to him. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a this is nasty. You have to be patient. And a semi-decent shot. I say semi-decent because that's what I would classify my uh, shooting skills as. Semi-decent. Let's get up here to the thing. We can see all the stuff that's still going on up there. And since those of you are probably still here in the video, I was thinking the next episode, well, what happens is after we do this, we go to the council meeting, and that's where the episodes will stop because the council meeting, it doesn't go any further than that. So I was thinking, I'll show you guys how to take over a main hub section. That's where you make just a crap ton of money. Once you make a crap ton of money for your faction, you can upgrade everything, no problem. Really easy to do. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Yeah. Try to make sure we're tracking the right thing. Yeah, 177. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Alright, there we go. Let's see. We're looking. Oh, there's one of the castles they like to have out there. That does not work real well. It's pretty broken right now. Go ahead and risk it if you want, but we're looking for a cave, right? There it is, Osuna Cave. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thrust to end. Alright. So you land out here. Oh! oh. <clears throat> Never fails. Land Especially white. And that's like the worst one I'm on. Okay, a couple things. So, the only point of bringing these guys in, they don't shoot, there's a bug, right? So these guys aren't really gonna help. What you can use them as is a defensive wall, and I'll show you guys as we go in there. So make sure you got your guns, everybody is reloaded, ready to go, save your game. This area is kind of rough, and I would definitely say saving your gun or saving your game is definitely going to help. You don't want to have to go all the way back to the system. Fly here, get out, do everything again. This works much better. And the biggest thing with this is don't run too fast. And you gotta, depending on your system you might have to mess with your gamma there we go let's see oh you guys can kind of see let's see turn up a little yeah okay all right so we're looking for uh horribly green guys huh, there's one Okay, gotta get the rhythm down. Oh, 
Why are they? That is such a weird slide out. It's like my weapon's not hitting. Do they just come after me? But those guys will slow them down a little bit, just enough. So I can reload the road. And wait until your armor goes all the way back up. Yeah, we got a lot of bodies to drop in this section. You guys are useless. Uh oh, should have never did that. Oh, the pathing is screwing me up. Uh oh, really? That's the thing though, is I always want to push too fast and stuff like this. You gotta take your time. Because these because you never know. I mean, there is a lot of them. I tried using all of the various things and they're not really balanced right. All of my little specials here. It's just better off to take whatever weapon you're the best with. I would never suggest you use sniper in this area just because too many come at you. But okay. Now comes the really dangerous part. Really? Oh, we're getting there, I should say. Man, those houses are just going nuts. Can't wait to see what happens next in our story. Okay, so when you get to this point, there is a giant cave on the other side with a shit ton of guys. We need to set them off, then run. That way, they'll start coming at us a uh, single file if we can get far enough back, and we'll be able to, and we won't get overwhelmed. If we don't go back far enough, we'll get overwhelmed. See what I mean by getting overwhelmed? And trust me, they'll follow. See, but now the whole thing isn't dumping into us at once. Oh. Well, that was perfect. Problem though, was like, we didn't get enough of them. There's just enough right outside the damn door. What? 
Where'd you come from? Son of a... Okay, armor's full. We're good. I think we got everybody. But yeah, I use those guys just for defense in this to slow people up. Because yeah, otherwise it's a it's a non-starter. I don't think there's anything really else around here. I mean, you're just gonna have issues. Doesn't show up in your inventory though. Now we just gotta get out. And if you did a good job, there should just be bodies on the way out here. Yep, 117. Oop. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Alrighty, and we are back in what was it? 117, the Grisoma's the planet you want to go to. Warp drive on. Going back to the city. Then things are gonna get interesting. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Right. Whoa! All over the place again. Jesus, the wind down here sucks. Landing gear deployed. dude what is the next step sir good you find the vasuki now give me the vasuki i'll take care of the drinks you just need to wear my suit get to the ship and go to the feast using my id they may not like me but i'm one of the invited guests consequently you shouldn't encounter any issues passing through security in fact, I'll be eating at the protocol table since I'll be attending as the head of the transportation. Being a special guest, there shouldn't be any issue with bringing weapons inside. They will be expecting you through the cargo section anyway. That's enough talking. Let's board the ship now and get to work. Hmm. Okay. Enter the station. I've brought your ship here. You may not have much time to escape after the job is complete, so hurry. Hey, well, now we can see. It's a little bright for me, but should be good for you guys. Welcome, sir. You guns are a little low. Sir, Ugh. everyone is waiting for you in the dining hall. 
Oh, it's the same layout as the earlier mission, to an extent. You need to have to run back through most of this, probably. Oh, good. Yep. Ah, what is the computer room? Can we use this on Oh, no. I was like, check everything with you guys. Well, at least I try to think of what everybody would think of looking for. What was in here? Well, that's not good. Interesting. Since everyone accounted for, let the feast begin. So the creepy part is, why are we here? Well, cool. We can watch the demise of our enemy. So. All right, they're dead. You don't want to hang around. Just run. The weapons, all the stuff's not really balanced. And you'll die. I know, because I just did. Well, guys will come flying around here at us. The cool part is we can sprint the whole time. We gotta go get our ship. Oh, at least I put it over here. Last time, it put it underneath the station on me. Was not happy about that. All right. Landing gear retracted. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Your actions will leave a mark on the board. I'm currently in my office at the council station. Whenever you're available, please come see me. I'll take care of the paperwork necessary for you to participate in the next session. All righty, folks. So there we go. So again, as I was saying earlier, if you go to that mission, uh, that's where the story stops. So if I was you guys, I would stop here and we'll just wait for him to, you know, whatever he, when he updates things next, which hopefully will be soon. 4.2 is supposed to be out here pretty quick which had a whole bunch of things on it, like uh, improved mothership combat, and I think more story missions, all kinds of crap. Anyways, folks, tune in for the next episode, because I will show you how to take over a system hub. So keep your heads down, your warriors of doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.